E S dot I N F O Amazing Mobile Services dot info. Beijing has announced a plan to restrict the 2017 election for Hong Kong's top leader, known as the chief executive, to a handful of candidates loyal only to Beijing. And that is where the story begins. This is Malcolm Out Loud. Hong Kongers have taken to the streets by the tens of thousands. The move by Beijing is being called a fake democracy. Well, the demonstrations are being called illegal by China's communist-run government in Beijing. Chinese Foreign Ministry had this to say. We're fully confident in the long-term prosperity and stability of Hong Kong. I believe this is in keeping with the interest of all the people, the region and the world, which I say, blah, 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 blah. Truth be told, it was a sad day for democracy when the United States eased back to the Chinese government. Seven. History is any indication. Hong Kong are in fight of their life. You can get the rest of the All Out Truth back at MalcolmAllow.tv. You're one of the millions of Americans suffering from back or neck pain. Bonatti.com. Presenting Jiggy Jaguar. Welcome back to the big broadcast, coast to coast and border to border, all over the World Wide Web and on 50 plus stations throughout the U.S. and Canada. AM, FM, 24 7 today. Also, the Starcom Radio Network, which is 20 plus AM, FM stations across the country and around the world. And, uh,. JiggyJaguar.com. Tune in, Radio Loyalty, iHeartRadio, all those as well. We want to go back to uh, our conversation here with uh, Donald Mazzella and Dan Perkins, and I want Don to lead this uh, to lead off this segment. Um, let's talk about that Hong Kong situation that Malcolm Out Loud just uh, uh, talked about in his daily commentary. Well, what do you think of this Hong Kong situation over there, Don? Oh, Dan, Dan and I were just talking about it off. Offside. I think ultimately the Chinese government will win, but but it will will cost them greatly in world opinion and uh, crack a facade because they can't um, control the communications like they can uh, internally in in uh, China. Um, the students, you know, it's very interesting. Uh, the internet has enabled democracy to flourish, most unlike places. Ukraine, now here in Hong Kong, in other places. Um, the, the, no wonder. Oh, by the way, one of the great giveaways of the administration has been its drive to uh, give control of the Internet to, a, quote, an international body. With, uh, the nice thing about the Internet has been the fact that the United States government and the United States uh, uh, infrastructure has it. But uh, slowly but surely, uh, this president administration has been pushing, giving control of the Internet to an international group to allow government to control the Internet. Um, and that, to me, is one of the great untold stories of the administration, and one that will also come back and hurt the American people. But the Internet, uh, the iPhone, all of these things have enabled these students Despite greatest effort by the Chinese government to prevent them from organizing, have been able to do a terrific job. Will they ultimately fail? No doubt, because the Chinese Chinese government government holds the levers of power. But I think that they will demonstrate once again and put a fear in the Chinese government government about the power of the internet and that. Uh, might not be this year, next year, or the five years, but ultimately it will de- destroy the monolith that is the Chinese government. Just as uh, it's given uh, uh, American people a tremendous clout, uh, doesn't show up in the election, though I think maybe it might in the presidential election 16, but uh, there's no question that the ability to organize and to provide uh, control over a vast mass um, like the, the Hong Kong. These students organized by every effort of the Chinese government to block uh, their organizing. They're out there in the street. They're, they're wave, waving their iPhones. They're, they're doing all of the things that uh, are, are necessary to really shake a government. Um, 
But in the end, uh, there's no doubt the Chinese government will get the uh, the governors governing Hong Kong uh, the way they want it. But uh, it certainly is delayed. Yeah. I also think that, the, that the, what you're seeing, uh, I think the Internet, though, is a uh, uh, bit number in this sense. I think Hong Kong is perhaps an tip of what you're seeing with I, their command of the message that they want to control getting out to the world. We don't see, say, in the United States. Um, never seen an arm, but I think it's the advent of, of how they have stuck themselves as, as a, as let's call it a movement, much like Hong Kong is with social media. The, the iPhone is the best controlled by the soft, software is very attuned, creating independent thought and also controlled thought. I on his punk is it's like Tenement Square cell phone. Because um, you can organize better, communicate instantaneously, you can put people in different places, you can <clears throat> use the social network, social media, to communicate your message to the rest of the students, the rest of the population, and try and affect the opportunity here in is try. The question then really becomes, now I'm, I'm in non that probably failed, but there's a, maybe there's a little more glimmer of hope right, of, that maybe this time Bill, that the Chinese government will be now in a totally different they were with him and Square, that they need the global economy to continue to grow their economy. Because the, the, the political reality of China, if the economy doesn't grow seven and a half years, the population is growing, are coming off the farm into the city, work because they want to make money. If the economy doesn't grow, Chinese have a serious problem of hope, Chinese. And so today is put any action at first effect economic growth is one of the potential of Chinese citizens. And that that is perhaps the first time as a global trading partner, they have their about what Well, I, I agree with you, Dan, but look, there um, we have a, a uh, anti-pollution conference going on here in New York, um, uh, and the biggest polluter, China, didn't even bother to attend. Okay, nor did so, India. Uh, the second market. Uh, nor did, uh, nor so, did India. Forty percent, forty percent of the population responsible for this portion of the pollution in the world hasn't increased anything that those wackos they were walking up all. And they're not going. Uh, you're not. Our Robert F. Kennedy not going to change. Yeah, or Chinese government in their policy. Global, uh, global push. It's not going to happen. So that's unrealistic. So it's basically rhetoric. And all due respect, Kennedy and the country that his family has made government. Um, when he, he invoked the Koch brothers. Global warming is his credibility. My my mind is totally irrelevant, and it shows the political nature of this this group. But I think China has problems. China has a problem in this war from an economic standpoint. Growth, or they they're they're sort of very concerned about how girls will react if they have to physically in there and deal with that problem. Um, whether, the, whether the world will turn on them and affect their economy with a much, much bigger, and I think they know that. I think they know 
that how they act have a great impact on the of China as economic power. Dan, I, I couldn't agree right with away. you more, but go ahead. But could I disagree? <laughs> no, but I, I, I want to bring it down to a very local level of the, the impact. And it may, it's way off topic, but I think it's very important. In New Jersey, we, we had a very strong Save the Bear um, uh, effort over the last two decades. And uh, when they took the poll last year, essentially saying we shouldn't have bear hunt, okay? And as late mm -hmm. as two, week, two weeks ago, the uh, majority of New, New Jersey residents were against killing bears. Then we had um, a young student killed by a bear. And then today, we, we have pictures of really, really magnificent pictures of this huge bear run up a tree across from a school. Okay, mm -hmm. and it, it's being broadcast around the world. And uh, mm -hmm. I only want to say on it, when, we t when they take the next poll, I guarantee you, kill the bears will not have a majority mm -hmm. of the Jersey. Uh, uh, we, but we need a... a we need a more personal, uh, you can talk about pollution, you can talk about all these things. We, uh, uh, people really just react, as uh, Speaker McCormick said, all politics is local. It's when it gets closer to themselves. Uh, that's when we'll, we'll, we'll really see a change. And, uh, and to go back to the Chi uh, Chinese question, when... Uh, when the Chinese people begin to realize that migration city that, that has been fostered by government and, and by economics really strips the country of its culture and its way of doing it, that's a change. And that change will come from, from the Internet mass communication. Mm -hmm. All I'm going to at that point is the only mass communication that really works in despite how they're trying to control it, the Internet eventually will bring down the authoritarian government, a parent of government. might even bring out a, a worse government, <coughs> but it will happen. I think it will happen in the next 20 years. Yeah. Hey, Joe? Yes, yes, you indeed. Remember when, you remember when... Remember not too long ago when the administration wanted to put a censor in Chico? Yes! <laughs> you think that's going to happen? you think that's going to happen? Uh, don't think so. <laughs> but... Yeah, but, but... But how much of so any show is broadcast over the Internet? A big, big chunk? A, a big chunk of it, but I will have to say one thing since we are talking about this. Um, I decided to get, I, I do this every once in a while. I go in and I look at our stats on, uh, on, on our website, jiggyjaguar.com, and I notice that, um, one of the biggest things, uh, you know, we have a lot of, we have a lot of United States people that hit our website, a lot of European people, but I also had a section, uh, that has just recently gotten a lot of hits, and it's, a uh, other slash U.S. government. <laughs> so I don't know what that means. <laughs> other than other than U.S. government, other Phoenix slash U.S. US government. Is, so I don't know if maybe the U.S. It, government is really paying attention to our website or what the hell's going on. Well, we'll know. We'll know if you get audited by the IRS. <laughs> okay. okay. So uh, I know we're running out of time. Are we going to be on again next? Yes, we'll be on again next week. This this last the last couple of weeks, one I was at the state fair, and then two we had a, a modem crash on us, and uh, we had our new setup that we're slowly but surely putting together. But yeah, next week we will be back on, and we'll uh, we'll be going full bore. Um, I want you guys. What we want to what we want to get next week. No? Yes. Before you do, Dan, do we have five minutes to talk about it right now? Oh, we've got a little bit of time. If you guys want to jump in there, go. Okay. What we want to talk about is the, the, what a lot of people are talking about 
That is what is the Democrat Senate. What does it mean to our country? What does it mean to our economy? What is it mean to the functionality of government? So go ahead. Uh, well, my initial, when he asked me that question off air, I said, God help the republic. Uh, uh, but, but more importantly, it, it will lead continued, and I don't like the word gridlock, continued a political uh, uh, dysfunction, because this president does not seem capable of building coalition. It, it, I believe that historians go back and look at his administration, they will say the critical element that he that was missing from him was his ability to build coalition. If uh, I, I heard a presidential scholar uh, on, a, on a program point out that successful presidents are those that build coalition, and Franklin Delano Roosevelt did it, uh, Harry Truman did it, Eisenhower did it. Bush forty one uh, and Bush forty three. Yes, build coalitions, and and the only way we could hope, if if uh, Democrats um, continue to control the, the Senate, there will be no incentive for him, <coughs> for President Obama, to build a coalition. If the and that to me is is the, is the worst the <coughs> possible thing. In, in the last two years of most administration. There's a, a marked tendency to build, uh, go and build coalition, uh, and it, uh, and as long as he has a, a democratic senate, he will not feel impelled to uh, build a coalition. If if he has a Republican <coughs> Senate, he may just may say for the last two years when I have no political uh, need, maybe I can build a, a coalition. That, to me, is number one. The number two is that the key issues of the IRS, all of these other uh, uh, malfeasance that he's done in office will be buried, and we will never get to, to, to find out where they are, what really happened. Well, so here's, here's my first reaction. My reaction to your point. Build a coalition. I've got a bridge that like because I don't know what your dream is, but this man has already told this conference, Democrat and Republican, I got a pen and I got a... He has, he has a united conference. Yes, and he's learned that that has been that bad effect. But what I think... I he think has. He well, in to focus on his legacy, more so than he is today, and he will use and then it's supposed to forever change America. The risk that we have by Democrats gain control of the Senate or they lose it, we're going to have a rogue president. He's going to do whatever he wants to do. don't really care. And I don't well, think no American people... They haven't got... I'm afraid it's going to be late. Because I did an op-ed where I said, whenever the president says, let's postpone this after election, it almost take it to the bank. It ain't going to get good. Very but much so. Very much so. I, I think that, that the, the lame duck said, out seven, and I'm, I, I agree with you, uh, Don, that they're looking at possibility. The end of America as we know it. We will become a socialist nation, much like France, Germany, and England. We'll lose our spirit, lose our way. And I'm not sure whoever we bring in is about challenge Hillary or whoever it is that is Democratic company. I'm not sure get it back. I, I put it. I couldn't agree with you more, Dan, and that's why I keep saying this midterm election is most important or history. But, but, I, uh, but I also believe that despite 
great power the president has. Uh, at some point, uh, he's going to have to build, for his last years, some sort of a coalition. Uh, he hasn't done it in the first six years, but I'm the eternal optimist. I believe, um, and by the way, I don't believe that, I believe that the Democrats will uh, retain the control of the uh, uh, Senate. Uh, Washington Post says it gives it the best rating, uh, 66 and that the uh, uh, public will gain control of the Senate. Um, they give it a 2% chance of gaining a super guard. Um, okay. And, and if you look okay. at the survey, Joe, can I ask you look at everything. Yes, ju- ju- jump, jump in there. Jump in there, Dan. I, but, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry we're going to run out of um, talked about the website. Um, when, I, when I wrote the uh, funny one I saw in front five years, I used to get yep. a lot of mail. Uh, that was for email. That's how old I am. Um, but I'm wondering, maybe your audience like partner in the sense of just like fuck. We we could we could do that. We we could we could very you much. Have the ability to do that on yeah, your we have the ability to do that on the website, and we get email all the time. People love you guys on on the show here, so yeah, that would be cool if we could open that up to uh, to the so folks. We, we, if you do that, how about if you all three agree? If you do that, you get a you get a listener or enough of a listener they want us to talk about a subject. Then aside one one sec response. That's awesome. That's we can a great do that. Idea, Dan. I'm much rather hear what they. I get. I'm absolutely because I much rather know what they want to talk, hear us talk about rather than what we want to talk. Right. Definitely. I mean, it may be a lot of the things, but at least show your your audience. Hey, take those two guys down. And if we, if we build in your audience. One of the three segments. Definitely. That they're oral <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 gentlemen. I sit on a ma- medical marijuana bo- uh, a bo- a board, and that's illegal. Uh, <laughs> so we can even talk about illegal. Well, gentlemen, I hate to cut you guys right. off, but we've got to go. I appreciate you being with us today, gentlemen. Right. Thank you. I appreciate it. We'll talk soon. Thanks, guys. We'll talk next week. We are uh, about out of time here on our program. Uh,